Svetlana, the firefly in the room. Hi! <laughs> Hello, Plum Friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today is very chilly day, you know, it's pretty cold outside and it's one of those days when it's bright but cold but at the same time it's bright and sunny so I feel extremely inspired to do something, to film something, to do some action at work, uh, not at work, at home, to clean something, you know, my hands are just you now all itchy because I need to do something. <laughs> so I thought why not to take you along because today I will do all of my plant course. So since I have a bunch of plants, I mean, you can see it, right? <laughs> so I have a lot of work to do. Every single week is a little bit of, it's becoming like a task, you know? <laughs> but I'm pretty enjoying it. Still, you know, I'm still there. <laughs> so I thought why not to take you along because I need to do some plant watering. I need to do some maybe reorganization. I actually did reorganization yesterday. I put this bunch of plants in here so if you'll take i will show you a little bit later you know closer but there are my variegated monstera my you know alocasias philodendrons so all of these plants looks pretty happy and healthy in here i actually put out a growing light in there right so i want to keep my plants as happy as possible because the winter is really coming i already saw some people you know showing off uh, footages from their hometowns and it's snowing somewhere so <sighs> i'm a little bit tired not going to lie because yesterday i had a lot of action happening we actually celebrated my mom's birthday and she is 50 now and it's a big you know jubilees jubilee oh my gosh this yeah, right. I mean, it's a big holiday for us and what we did, we left the guys, you know, behind. So my dad went to my grandma to help some, you know, with some course at home and my boyfriend uh, went celebrating with his buddies, you know, I don't know how to say it nicely, but they called their meetings. Um, oh my gosh, how to say it nicely. Ding dong parties. <laughs> because they're only dudes and you know they're just doing dudes things like playing games you know beer pongs and just having fun till the middle of the night and then coming drunk home you know and making a scene so ding dong sparks you know <laughs> but anyway so we went with my mom and to be honest right now in Lithuania is officially a quarantine once again so in Vilnius in the capital of Lithuania where I live there is a lockdown so the streets are pretty empty, which is a little bit satisfying, not going to lie. <laughs> but at the same time, me and my sister wanted to do something special for my mom because already uh, dad's birthday, there was a lockdown for my birthday, there was a lockdown for my sister's birthday. She was away somewhere, I don't even remember what she did. But my mom is 50 this year, so it's a big number, it's you know a beautiful number and we wanted to do something special. So we went outside, we enjoyed beautiful yellow leaves, you know, had some active time together and then we decided why not to do something not so smart. But we went to the cinema and don't freak out, don't freak out, okay, wait, let me explain. <laughs> so since it's a lockdown, most of the people are at home, right? But it's my mom's 50th birthday, so we wanted to do something special. So there was a movie at 10 past 11 a.m. And it, uh, it's a new movie, which is, I think, I will put a poster over here. It's, you know, a new movie with Anne Hathaway, and I love this actress. She is one of my favorites, and I needed to see this movie, and it's been forever when I was in the cinema, the same just like my mom and my sister. So we had a plan. We went to the cinema five minutes past 11, so five minutes till the movie starting, right? And we checked if there are some people already know bought tickets, and there was none. The room, you know, that the movie was showing if in was empty no people so we bought three tickets we went inside and we had a whole movie just for ourselves and this was 
an amazingly interesting experience. Uh, we felt like VIPs, you know, like some flipping rich people who can buy the whole cinema for themselves. But even though it's just a quarantine and we went we were the only crazy ones who went there so <laughs> this was extremely fun and after the cinema we went you know grabbed a pizza together and then we went thrifting and all of this time we were wearing masks and we did not spend a lot of time you know in the closed spaces so we we started celebrating at about 11 a.m and finished at about 3 p.m so it wasn't really long while we were outside but we still managed to come back home to my place. We took Rocky and we actually went in this neighborhood that had Halloween themed park. So we took some pictures in there and that was it. So simple girls day out and it was extremely fun. But today, today we need to go back to work. We need to go back to reality. Right, baby? Rocky's laying here like, mom, what are you doing? I'm sleeping. <laughs> but okay. Let's get to the plant course. So today we're doing a plant maintenance vlog, some kind of video. I need to water my plants. I need to, I need to do a lot of things. So let's do it. But before that, do you see something new in here? And I'm not talking about diffuser in the background. <laughs> this is actually the same diffuser that I got about a year ago from a sponsor video, right? As you can tell, I'm still using it and it still does the work. It's not a very big room, so for this space, it's perfect, you know? So why not to use it, right? But anyway, do you notice this beauty? Because, oh my gosh, look at this amazing, amazing plant. And there is a new leaf on the way. And I don't know why I started singing. <laughs> But this is my new Monstera and the newest leaf is with beautiful fenestrations. The first one was already huge. I mean, look at the size and this is my hat. It's bigger than my hat already, you know? And the second leaf is a little bit broken. There is some, you know, mechanical damage, but that's okay. But the newest one is just perfect. And the new, I hope this one will be amazing. But you know what's the funniest part? that I actually yesterday bring that plant here closer to the diffuser and the growing light and I started to looking at this plant and I noticed something. Dum, dum, dum. So, wait, so, wait, where is this? Look at this part. I don't know if you can see it. Just look at it and tell me if you see something. You probably can't. I will probably insert the picture, but I see some variegation on the size of a plant. <laughs> I mean, I saw a post of one of the local plant shops and I needed another Monstera. Yes, I have already the three, but I needed the fourth. Why? I don't know, I need it. So, don't ask questions, okay? I need it. So I bought it and when I came to the shop, it was the last one there. I grabbed it because it was the last one and I really needed one and it was beautiful. But what I did not notice that in this part, there is a variegation. It's very, very small. It's like really small, but it's there. What? It's still there. I mean, I'm extremely happy right now. What I'm planning to do, I will need to buy more growing lights and I'll put it in some of my corners, somewhere in the near here, I don't know, something. And I'll put a huge growing light on top of it. And I wonder what will happen. Maybe more variegation will come out. Maybe this variegation will be a little bit stronger. I don't know, but should we try? Heck yeah. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for, you know, more experiments on my channel because, oh my gosh, this is so exciting, right? Right? <sighs> okay, so I used most of my left voice because yesterday we laughed a lot with my mom and my... Whoop, I almost spilled my tea. Yesterday we talked, we laughed a lot with my mom and my sister. So today I need to be a little bit, you know, <clears throat> calmer. So. Anyway, guys, this is it for the intro. I mean, it's already the whole video, but I'm sorry. 
let's get some work done let's do it okay so first of all let's start from this shelf and as you can tell i already have my moisture meter in my hands because in Lithuania it's not summer anymore it's chilly it's cold it's all of the time you know foggy it's just time, that time of the year that it's like yeah. but anyway plants doesn't love it and they don't drink as much water as they used in the summer and you know i all already got used to the watering of the summer you know time so i need these things to not overwater my plants so let's let's just you know do the thing yeah okay so actually update on my jewel orchid as you can tell probably you can't it's pretty moist it's uh, pretty dry sorry it's about to bloom guys how exciting is that every single plant every single branch of this plant is about to bloom insane <laughs> i am not sure what i did to deserve this beauty but it's happening so i'm i'm all there you know for it so i obviously will water my hoyas that i have in here probably want to see closer right let me get you closer i obviously will water my hoyas because they're getting dry all of the time because they're growing in a terracotta pots so for small pots I will water as per usual because they dry out very quickly and the heating season is on in Lithuania and here is the philodendron from Veja from our swap if you haven't seen it yet I will leave a link in this corner this is a beautiful philodendron and the small tiny small tiny knot is coming you see it so I will water this one and my philodendron red emerald right can you see this new leaf how cute is that so since they both are growing something new i will water them both because obviously they need some energy right then we have my beautiful calatia and finally 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 this calatia is growing new growth so if you look here see there are the new leaves which is exciting because it stood in my home for at least i don't know maybe half of the year and did nothing so this is awesome then i have this huge raphidophora tetrasperma and it's getting out of control <laughs> i really need to propagate it because it's it's big but i'm not sure you know because it's because the winter is coming so you know it's not the perfect time for propagation but at the same time this guy needs some so i don't know and here is my newest leaf on this alocasia cuprea there is another new leaf out there there is actually growing two plants one small plant and another one bigger one so both of them gave me small oh my gosh this is so both of these plants gave me new growth which is exciting then i have this rattlesnake alatia and i will water it a little bit not too much then I have propagating Monstera Stendeliana variegata, my beautiful variegated Monstera. And I will, if you look closely, there is a knot growing, right? I'll fill in a little bit of water, but not too much, because I'm afraid, you know, to do something wrong with it. And some, this is my beautiful. Oh my gosh what's wrong with these heart shaped leaves all of, i always forget the name of this exact plant then we have this this is another oh my gosh why i cannot remember your name holy shizzle mizzle i mean this is another part of my plants this is the place where it isn't getting a lot of sun you know it's still getting uh indirect light but it's not very bright so all of my sensivirias well not all you know most of my sensivirias are in here and some of my cacti that can survive you know not that much sun so they all seem pretty happy in here okay we need more water then we have this part that still is waiting for some you know renovation so this is the wall that used to be rocky's uh, cage next to so 
it's dirty i need to change the tapestry in here but you know we'll get there then i have my orchid i rescued this orchid and guys look at this the new leaf is coming right and a small note with bloom is coming out so this is exciting this is as well my rescued plant mother of thousand right here is another rescued orchid here is my beautiful wilfins in Siberia and my ficus then we have this shelf like a lot of it i would you i would show you a little bit more that's where i have a lot of dirty clothes that i need to fold you know Okay, right now we are in my kitchen as you can tell here stands my newest fairy garden this is the fairy garden that i did with my friend vea and i love it i actually just watered it about an hour ago so i won't water it again but it stands in my kitchen and it's loving who is who came in the house oh. oh such a nice baby hi oh you dirty okay so this is my homolonima that is always thirsty it's always thirsty i mean it doesn't matter it's day or night it's weekend or working day it's always thirsty i need to water it at least every second day and this is insane because it's growing in a pretty you no know, uh, thick ceramic pot so you know it's not um, absorbing all of the air and it's not it shouldn't dry really quickly but it drinks a lot you know it, it has a problem I don't know. Then if you will look up, what you will see? Oh, you will see my beautiful variegate. Not variegate. You will see my beautiful hinder rope. <laughs> Do you see me? <laughs> okay, so this is my hinder rope. Let's check on you. Oh, it's dry. Okay. And I'm really scared with my hinder rope because I already killed one. And I want this one to be really happy. I'm always checking on its leaves and whenever they start to look wrinkly then I water them and I actually watered it last week and I am not so sure should I water it again or not because the pot is actually pretty heavy and even though my moisture meter shows uh, dry nah. <laughs> I won't water it but my beautiful satin potos really need some water so I'll water that and then do you see it? do you see a thing people? don't be quiet if you don't see anything tell me so here is my boyfriend you see me? so here is my boyfriend's bar and I put this beautiful uh, purple heart in here because it's getting a little bit out of control and it's in a pretty small pot so I need to think about repotting this one soon I have a couple Ear plants so I'll put them in a glass with a water okay so I have a glass with water and I will just put them directly inside and let them sink and drink for hour or so and while they are drinking I will water my fairy garden my potos sensivirias because this one's actually started to grow only now <laughs> If you look close enough this all is a new growth that started to come out this autumn so in the summertime it wasn't doing anything and now it started to grow so i mean i'm not mad about it <laughs> so this is my another room and here are most of my big plants and you know my so 
this is the room that I have my bigger plants, you know, my favorites, not going to lie, and I have, you know, my big pochira in here, here my big monstera and all of these plants right now i will water my biggest largest plants you know the bigger the better my trailing potos is actually getting out of control once again <laughs> it's getting really long so we'll need to cut it once again oh i need to to cut off this part of my philodendron birkin anyway let's put these guys huh? what's the name of a plant you shouldn't do that this way <laughs> next right now i'm in my another corner this is where are my biggest monstera it's looking rough but that's the old leaf that i got when i bought it wrong <laughs> ish yes you have a nice butt very nice butt okay so here i have my spotifylum or pig <laughs> not now this is actually the toy that rocky decided to got himself for a birthday okay so okay guys <laughs> it's a mess anyway so here is my biggest monstera deliciosa it's my largest one in my collection but this is the one that you know gets the <laughs> why are you showing no hand why are you showing no hand why are you showing no hand mister <laughs> okay go go now i'm rocking now <sighs> I don't want your butt. Anyway, so this is my largest monstera and don't. <laughs> what do you want? You want me to throw it? <laughs> Enough talking, I just watered this plant because this won't happen anytime soon. Then on top I have a couple, oh wait, here is my Sensevera cylindrica and there I have a couple aloes. So some of you asked how is the aloe from the rescue doing and it's doing awesome. Just look at it, it looks like a monster but a very healthy and happy monster. So that's exciting. And then I have another aloe vera that my sister got me and it's pretty monstrous as well. <laughs> and then I have this in Siberia that I won't water because it's in Siberia. And it's not in, and it's not a lot of sun in this place, so you know I don't want to make it rot. I'm back. <laughs> so I watered most of my plants. I did not show you all of my plants because it almost would be like a planter, you know. So I did not show you my windowsills that are filled with plants. I did not show you some other plants. And stay for those in my plant store in some future, you know. <laughs> but for now, all of my plants are watered. And right now, I just don't like the way that this monster is just sin sitting in this plane. Tero not tero plain plastic pot from the nursery i feel like it deserves more so i have a bad idea and I, and I know it's bad because it's so risky but oh my gosh i'm not sure so right now is actually a pretty early morning so it's about 8 30 i think and yes i got really early today but you know life happens i'm getting old so i don't need a lot of sleep recently <laughs> for some reason i don't know so anyway right now it's pretty early morning and most of normal people are asleep and i am thinking maybe that's a perfect time to go to the shop i know it's a little bit insane because you know lockdown but i need to buy some swell for my reporting video that that is coming up and you know i need some new pots for this beautiful monstera i won't report it while the new leaf is still on the way i'll report it when you know it's fully unfurls 
but you know i need to prepare everything because i'm not sure how long this lockdown is going to last and i'm not sure if the shops will be open in the near future because you know it's a nursery or a plant shop and most of the time such shops are not working during the quarantine so i might use this probably last opportunities before the complete lockdown and go and buy some soil some pots and you know prepare for the winter <laughs> in other words and i'm not sure how i feel about it to be honest i know it's a little bit stupid but at the same time it's early morning so most of the people will be home does that make sense is it smart guys awesome news i won't need to go to the shop because just before rocky rocky what are you doing <laughs> So just before going to this plant shop, last time, you know, I wanted to stay smart and checked on my balcony for... Yeah, <laughs> so I checked my balcony for the pots that I had already because I was so sure I don't have any terracotta pots and I wanted to put this monster in the terracotta pot, right? And then I remembered that I had one huge pot upside down and used it as a, as a table for whole summer and I never checked underneath. And guys, I found my missing pot. Do you remember the pot that I was complaining about that was gone? Gone forever? And I had no idea where it was. This is actually the pot that I decorated myself. So this is the pot that I found recent... That I just found under this pot. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited because look, this is this pot and this is another pot side by side. So this is the perfect side up, the perfect size up. And right now I am so positive about the pot, but now I don't have soil. So I need to come out with some idea where I could get soil without going you know into big stores like i was going to do so so maybe some grocery store next doors would that work maybe we should try okay guys so i just decided that i actually will go and try to go to the shop i will drive a car myself so there won't be any other pe people in the car so this is already safe right and i'll try to be in the shop as quick as possible no just grab the soil leave <laughs> maybe take a little look at the plants but then leave so we're going to the shop okay let's do it right let's flip and do it Whoop. okay i cannot drive and speak at the same time because i'm pretty new in driving so i don't want to, i don't want yeah <laughs> i don't know why, oh my gosh i don't want to make any mistakes so we'll see you at the shop autumn colors okay guys I'm back home it's probably a very bad angle but anyway I did not film anything in the plant nursery because there were not that you know there was a lot of people and I did not want it to stay there very long time so I just grabbed the soil and went out <laughs> So I got the same actually citrus mix uh, that is perfect for ficuses, for rhododrant, for you know all these kind of plants and I think this should work for monstera as well. And I got some pebbles, this, these are the clay pebbles that I'll mix in the soil so you know it will be a little bit more airy and more chunky because I could not find any orchid box which was a little bit sad because I really I'm looking for orchid bugs in, barks in Vilnius, but I cannot find them anywhere. I mean, I could buy the orchid mix, but they already are prepared with, you know, the soil and whatever, and they are much more expensive than I am, you know, planning on spending the money on. So, I will think about it. And anyway, this is about... The, oh my god, this is really bad tangle. I will hold you. So, I parked next to my home, and to be honest, I'm a little bit no not that into showing you the surroundings where I live because recently actually do you remember the time that about a couple months ago maybe that in the plant community was pretty loud that people started to drop other people you know I especially remember that footage that uh, mini clip 
of a guy walking in the somebody's greenhouse with a gun and extremely when I saw this footage I was like holy shit this is getting real and I thought in Lithuania nothing similar happens I mean it's a pretty small country the plant community isn't really big in here so I thought this is mm, here now but then last week I was uh, going to a plant nursery with my friend Vea other plant over right and we went to this my favorite plant shop to be honest my favorite local plant shop and the window was broken so I immediately wrote a message to the lady that is working there to to the you know to the owner of the shop by Instagram because we sometimes talk you know and holy shit she said that somebody you know went to the shop and robbed her so this is insane so that's why I don't want to show you too much of my you know living surroundings so don't be mad about it okay okay but anyway, this is where I will finish today's vlog, video, whatever, because it's getting a little bit late and I still did not have lunch and I have some other stuff to do, so, so, so this is it. <laughs> okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know, do you dig this kind of videos? Is it interesting for you to see kind of vlogish videos? No, not that really prepared for. Anyway. Just let me know what do you think. Let's talk in the comments. Let's like my video, right? Because why not? That helps my channel so, so much. Okay, guys. I'll see you soon. And until the next video. Bye.